even greater people than the Onassis and the Kennedys, people like Alexander the Great, came naked into the world and naked they must go. Not leaving diamonds and koinurs, but Alexander and people like Chinggis Khan left empires. They were not able to finalize or do what they were, had come to do. Everything will be left as it is. All your glamour and splendor will come to naught if you don't seek God now. Banjara is not exactly a vagabond. Banjara is a free roamer with free respect. Now, Babaji is in, this, in the dress of the Banjara. Means he who roams from city to city. You see, the birds of the tree, the birds of the air and the fowls have their place to rest. But the son of man hath not a place to lay his head. This is the true yogic meaning. It, that is taken exactly, you know, where that verse is taken from the yogis of India. He is a wanderer, a roamer. He is not of this land. He belongs to the land where is there is no life or death. So, so renounce everything. This is the renunciate. He has renounced the, the tinsel wealth of the world to seek God. Banjara means the wanderer, the mendicant is symbolized as your soul. When your soul leaves the body, it's only a body of clay. So if you can't make it now, you'll never make it. Do it now. Because all your wealth and everything will lie as waste when the soul leaves the body. So enjoy it, all your wealth, but do not be attached to it. And in any case, whether you're attached to it or not, all these things keep attaching themselves to you. So there's no need to attach. Now, I had a desire for mother of pearl knives and forks, the fish knife and the forks. So Meera and Goncha and all the people from London made this effort and they got this for me, which is an impossible thing that's not available anywhere because I tried. In Italy they had one, I went and it was just sold. So there's only two places I could try, which was Italy and London. These are the two places. And I got it there, but I got a big one. Mm -hmm. Then in London, I got the other one also, the big one. Yeah, that's Emma and all those. Yeah. So now the whole set is there. That's the set of this. I... So this desire is there. It was an innocent desire. Now what to do? That is just going to remain as it is. You know, you use it a bit, fulfill that desire and move on. Give it to posterity. So, we don't get attached to these things. I was wondering why I did say that. I said it in a light vein, but the disciples were so determined to show them what London is and what you can get in England, which you can't get anywhere in the world. So, that's, that's the thing. So, these are innocent desires. You desire something, it's better to fulfill it, be done with it and move on. This, they are very innocent. But the desires which are the lust for life and this thing, those desires have to be regularly shunned and warded off. And your intensity for God must be increased by talking of God, by living in God, by loving God, by having satsangs of God, by breathing Him in and out of your being. <laughs> So the Banjara, the, the divine Banjara is in front of us. The great Mahayogi who set the example to the world with his begging bowl and his, the Chimita. They have the staff, it's the Chimita. 